Here we have the Lenovo Idea Center All-in-One 3. Now, the old Lenovo Idea Center was one of our most popular videos, so we thought we'd go ahead and bring the new model back for a review here. And sure, this one doesn't have any fancy wireless charger at the base or an expandable slot for a hard drive, but we're gonna find out today if it's any good. So as is tradition here, let's go ahead and get the specs out of the way. This one comes with the Ryzen 4300U processor, comes with Radeon graphics, 8 gigabytes of DDR4 RAM, a 24 inch 1080p non-touch display, and the 256 gigabyte NVMe solid state drive. Now, most of those specs are um, upgradable kind of, sort of. Uh, you've got the RAM that can be upgraded, but you could also change out the NVMe solid state drive in there as well if you are if you have are brave enough to, to open up your own little computer. You might wanna take it to a professional, but the point is, is that they are user upgradable on like the Apple equipment, and uh, that is a nice touch for a lot of people. Now, the display quality on this thing, let's talk Let's talk display because that's, of course, the thing that you're gonna be looking at the most. Now, I'm, I'm not gonna turn it on because I need to turn the computer around here in a little bit. I know a lot of people complain that I didn't turn the computer on, but, you know, really, who gives a shit because you can't see the screen quality through your screen. Anyway, point is, is that this has a 24-inch screen, and it is really quite good, with the exception of its viewing angle. So, uh, the blacks are very rich, the whites are very true, very neutral, it's crisp, it's clear, but the viewing angle suffers a little bit for some reason. Reason. It is by no means the worst viewing angle display we've ever had, uh, but it's, it, could, it could use maybe a little bit of work. And there could be also like an anti-glare coating on the screen that Lenovo is using that's causing that. But nevertheless, it is a very, very good quality screen. You just may not want to share like watching videos or something on it. It's really only good when you're looking at it head on. Anyway, it's a good quality screen. Uh, and that is then matched by what I would call fairly decent speakers. Now, Lenovo puts their whole like audio by Harman thing on it, which is largely a sales gimmick, but um, I, the speakers do get very loud and they don't distort, uh, but there's, there's good uh, highs, kind of eh, mediums, and almost no lows. Uh, so there's not a whole lot of definition to the speaker quality. They are by no means in the same ballpark as the uh, Apple products. Uh, that said, it does get uh, loud enough to do like podcasting or even watching a movie in a in a kind of noisy room or when you're sharing it with friends. So in other words, you can watch a movie with friends in the room, but they ju you just can't see it, but you could hear it very well. So nevertheless, I wouldn't. Uh, audiophiles are going to want to get a pair of speakers or headphones, and and that should be no problem because you do have an audio jack on this computer. But again, I'll show you that in a moment. But one kind of neat thing about this Lenovo All-in-One is that it still has a DVD player uh, built in on the side here. And I'll, and I'll just, I'm going to show a close-up on it anyway, so I don't even know why I'm bothering doing this, but it does have a DVD player built in still. Um, and that's, you know, I don't know who uses DVDs anymore, but there are some people that still do. Uh, believe it or not, we do get requests every now and again. And um, so yeah, you can put a DVD in there without needing an extra USB DVD device. This computer also has built-in Wi-Fi AC. It has Bluetooth and it has a webcam built in. And this is what the webcam quality looks like now. This is an example of the webcam quality on the Lenovo Idea Center All-in-One 3. As you can see, you could become the next Christopher Nolan with it, maybe. So as you can see, you could certainly do Skype or Zoom or that kind of thing if you needed to work from home. And that's, I think, who this computer is for. It's a very, very quick computer and it's great for productivity. And it's at a really nice price point too. At $549, it is absolutely great bang for your buck. And if you are working in a nonprofit or just like it's an office computer and you're doing spreadsheets and stuff like that on it, then that would be ideal for this machine. It's got enough horsepower on it where you could have as many Firefox, Chrome, and Brave tabs open as you could possibly as your as your little heart desires so I really don't think anybody's going to be wanting for power in this machine you could certainly play games like Minecraft or Fortnite uh, but you're probably not going to want to play any AAA titles at max settings that said one little slight drawback on it is it does come with a wired keyboard and mouse and it's of course Lenovo sort of bottom of the barrel wired keyboard and mouse it would have been a nice touch to have wireless in there uh, the ones that you get with the higher end all-in-ones, but nevertheless, that's what you get is a, is, a, is a wired keyboard and mouse. And of course, no backlight on it too. This is a great computer. We really do recommend it. I think anybody that buys it is going to be very happy with it.
As far as some little benchmarks on this thing, here is um, here's what a benchmark looks like on it. Yeah, you've asked for it, but I'm not really sure what good it will do for you, but this is the benchmark that you can expect from the Lenovo. I don't think you're gonna want this if you're like a serious gamer or you're doing some kind of serious video editing. You could probably use it if you were doing like audio processing, um, but there is a little catch to that. Let me go ahead and get to the I.O. So on this side, you have a USB super speed port, you've got a camera card reader and it's SD, and then you've got the dual microphone and headphone jack. So, uh, you, know, you know, if you're plugging in speakers, uh, you know, headphones, whatever, that's what goes in a headphone jack. And then on the back, you've got where it plugs in because it doesn't run on solar energy, people. You've got a gigabyte ethernet port and HDMI, and now this HDMI is throughput, so if you download an application from Lenovo's website, uh, you can use this as a screen for, like, let's say your PlayStation 4. Uh, and then it has two, uh, I'm sorry, one regular USB, USB super speed, I can't fucking read. It has two USB regulars and then another USB super speed, but you'll notice that's missing is a USB-C, and I have to admit that that is kind of a disappointment. Let's just pop that bad boy around here, yeah, there we go. <laughs> there she is. Yeah. And I do think that that's kind of disappointing because if you are uh, an audio, somebody doing audio editing, setting up an in-house audio studio, you probably will want that USB-C in order to kind of connect and daisy chain a bunch of peripheral devices. And of course this computer doesn't and can't do that. So I guess you could, again, use it if you had USB super speed uh, audio devices, but if you're doing any kind of like audio studio stuff, you may want to look elsewhere. Uh, this computer's biggest competitor is probably going to be the Acer Aspire. And frankly, if you ask me, I think I would probably go with the Acer Aspire. I'm not totally sure why, I just think that it's sort of better bang for your buck. Um, likewise, you know, the screen quality on this is maybe slightly better Speaker quality on this is maybe slightly better, but all in all, I think you're just gonna get a little bit of better performance and better I.O. out of an Acer all-in-one. Uh, I'm sorry, yeah, out of, out of Acer's all-in-ones. So um, yeah, again, great machine. You can't go wrong with it. It's a good price point. If you're not doing audio or video editing on this thing, uh, and you're maybe just doing like some light gaming and productivity work, maybe if you're like an accountant or something like that, then I think that you'll be really, really happy with this machine. Um, but it is it is sort of limited in its cap in its in its sort of future proofing capabilities. But again, that's maybe not what it's designed for. So basically, it's a no frills all in one. I do wish that Lenovo kept the wireless charger in the base. I think that was kind of a cute touch. Uh, and again, no expandable hard drive port either. I'm not surprised that they took that away. But it's a good quality machine, so we do recommend it. And we haven't we've sold a ton of them. Haven't had anybody come back with any issues on them, they seem to be quite reliable. And Lenovo's customer service is okay. Their after sales customer service, it's much better than Hewlett Packard's, but it's not quite as good as Dell's. Um, I think that pretty much wraps, wraps it up. If you have any questions, please feel free to reach out to us in the comment section. Please like and subscribe, and we will be back with another video really soon.